Well, it's 10 o'clock. Let's come before the Lord. Well, it's Ooh, 10 o'clock. Nasty thing. I thought I'd turn that off. Let's make it happen. Let's pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment of reflection on the day now past. we say together most merciful God we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought word and deed and in what we have failed to do forgive us our sins heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ amen O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our steadily foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue but you, O Lord, know it all together. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to the heavens, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take to the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night, even darkness is no darkness with you, the night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both the light. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished, for already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they're more in number than the sand, and at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
Matthew 24 verses 13 and 14. The one who endures to the end will be saved and this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all nations. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. O King, most blessed, on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people is slow. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. O King most blessed on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. So Father God, we bring before you all that this day has been. We bring you our thanks. We bring you our thoughts, our prayers, our hopes, our fears, our blessings and joys and our concerns. For Lord, there is none like you. You are the God of gods. You are the God who, by the shedding of blood, has covered our sins and restored us to relationship with you, as the Godhead, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So we lift to you all that we are this night. And as things keep being tough as things keep challenging us in terms of the virus another 511 deaths in the last 24 hours another 20,000 new cases another 1700 admissions as only a week ago we were fearing us entering 50,000 dead we're now looking almost by the end of the weekend, probably heading into 55,000. Lord, as people clamour and demand a proper Christmas, the reality is that making us able to merge and mix over Christmas, we'll see the death toll rise and the lockdown into January begin. Father, we pray for sense a discipline, for a desire to protect those around us, and Lord, most of all for common sense, the ability to act rationally, to discern and decide what is before us, and to make all come together. Father, we thank you for the intelligence you give us. Help us to use it, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, as we look at governments, as we look at politics, as we look at the Home Secretary and her failings, as we look at the Prime Minister and his follies, as we look at the former leader of the Labour Party and his situation as we look at a president who seems to be just a little on the unsteady mentally speaking side of things as we look at despotic leaders foolish leaders deceitful leaders selfish leaders inept leaders we pray for government in every nation that it will be 
honest, decent, with humility as to the place of the nation they govern and have justice and mercy aforethought. Lord, heal the nations. Lord, turn the governments to truth and integrity in your word, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray this night for all those we know who have needs. We give you thanks for John and his care. And as he is taken care of, analysed, tested and understood with his situation, such that home will be his. We pray for all those this day who need a touch from you, for Maureen Williams, for Philip and his continued recovery, for his brother's recovery. Father, we pray for those who are struggling, for Linda and her family, and for Sue Paling on a, an anniversary where the focus of that anniversary is no longer on this earth. But love continues, and we pray that their love for her and Vic, that love would sustain her through the darker moments. We pray for all those who suffer in body, mind and spirit, all those who are fearful of their job losses becoming a reality, all those who just don't understand what's really going on. And we pray for clarity of vision and understanding in the ordinary people on the streets for us that we might view all that's before us with integrity and that we make this world around us something good so lord we lift now to you ourselves and those for whom we pray the needs on our hearts the problems in our minds and we ask you to be God in our lives and in the lives of those we know and love and in the lives of all and father we pray for revival we pray for a turning of our nation and of the nations of this world that they might find the Christ and through his death be reconciled to the Godhead, live with integrity, love, and most of all, a servant heart. Father, bring your renewal, bring your kingdom into the being and the hearts and minds of those for whom we pray who are far off and for all those distant from you this night. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as tonight we think of a king, Edmund, who not only refused to recant his faith in Christ, or to hand over his nation to invading forces, but manfully stood and even though he was tied to a tree and pierced by arrows, he refused to see, to yield his faith. Even unto death he was faithful. And we thank you for the witness of all your faithful saints. Eternal God, whose servant Edmund kept faith to the end, both with you and with his people, and glorified you by his death. Grant us such steadfastness of faith that with the noble army of martyrs we may come to enjoy the fullness of the resurrection life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so we pray together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. So this night may you and those for whom you pray, those you love, may they and you know the presence of the risen Christ by the power of his Holy Spirit. May you sleep well, may you know the protection of the Christ this night. May you wake refreshed to rejoice at another day in which we can serve and bless and be blessed. Good night, guys. Thank you ever so much for being with us. Bye.